Hi everybody, welcome to my studio, Tonte Cali. And welcome also to another Artist Chat sponsored by Culture Coalition. I'm working on a piece right now, a head for a, a giant puppet. And this is one of the characters and his name is Stuart. And as you can see, I'm, I'm still modeling the face in paper clay. I, I went ahead and just painted the hair. Um, we're getting started. And uh, for my sculpting, I use uh, mostly rasps after I'm done modeling with uh, my hands and my fingers to get that final, final smooth surface that I'm working on. And uh, once I get the surface that I'm looking for and I get the right uh, features, the symmetry I'm looking for, then I'll begin the process of painting. I took a break for a moment from the heads because at this point I'm working on the hands for the giant puppet. And uh, uh, it's quite exciting. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm using my own hands as a model. And of course, I'm making the hands close simply because it's going to be a lot easier to cast the pieces. After I cast them, I might be able to uh, open the hands like that, make them a little bit more naturalistic. But here you can see how I've taken a lot of uh, uh, great pains to work on the, uh, the shape, the, uh, the dimensions, the relations of the, of the fingers to each other, the hand itself, the tendons. And later on, I might even add uh, uh, some of the veins to give it that, uh, you know, more or less realistic type of look. So here you can see the two hands when they're, when they're together and how they make an attempt so that they, they match up together. And the puppets will be able to use the hands uh, openly and, or I shouldn't say the like it. So here you go, that's the hands at the beginning of the face. Now let's check out the actual hands. Okay, so here's an example of one of the giant puppets. This is a character for the Borderlands production of Bodies of Stories. And so here you get an idea of kind of the size. However, this does stand probably about almost another foot taller when in production. I wanted to show you these heads that I'm working on right now. They're not quite finished, but uh, I wanted to explain about the process that I use. I was simply giving the name of a character and a brief description. So uh, I wanted to, first of all, make each character unique, to have you know very unique features, facial features. I wanted them to each have uh, a different expression, one from the other, also to distinguish themselves and to give you some insight into their personality. Uh, this mask right, this head right here, is pretty much what I'm looking for when I'm painting the mask. I, become, I start off with a, a, a flesh tone, and then I go from uh, the flesh tone to the lighter, to the darker, and add a lot of other elements and probably some other colors to the lips, to the eyes, and to the cheeks. So this one is a near finished painting, as is this one, as you can see. I've added more different uh, 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 differences in uh, the variation of the skin tones and this is another one here that you can see this is a woman who's supposed to be uh, in her 40s and I gave her a very uh, unique uh, hairdo with very curly hair and a kind of a short style. This is supposed to be uh, reminiscent of the 50s era and I went online to look for some 50s hairdos to get these ideas. This is Margarita. This is a piece that's, uh, uh, I still have uh, a lot of work to do on this one because I'm not real happy with the, uh, the final product. I like the uh, features, I like the expression, but somehow I gotta make her look a little bit younger to distinguish her from the other characters. Uh, in case you're wondering, the masks are made out of plaster bandage and paper clay, as I mentioned before, that I used to model, and then they're reinforced inside with fiberglass. That makes them a lot more durable. Uh, it does also make them heavier, but uh, as an artist working with a theater company, uh, 
in creating art that is now uh, not just standalone sculpture, but processional sculpture that's going to come alive on stage and, uh, and become an important aspect of that theatrical production and bring that magic, that mystery uh, to the stage that uh, we all long to see when we go to theater and that Borderlands is so good at creating. So that's how I go, go about it. That's where I'm at right now on this project uh, with Borderlands. And I'd like to thank you for coming to my studio. Let me share a little bit about my working process and what it takes to collaborate with, with other artists and to make things happen. Muchas gracias. Gracias.